The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that will give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. They'll keep it on the ground. Coleman. And all this Texans defense, they're all charged up now. They stop him behind the line for the second straight play. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. They go play action. Mariota. Come on, Joe. He'll let it fly in the direction again. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Keanu Neal. And his crew will take over with the football at the 35-yard line. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. Their defense did its job, yielded no points. Now it's the offense's turn. And how much fun is that when you set things up to start a half and you just tell you guys, hey, if you can shut them down and get it back to the offense, we can roll. And they played out perfectly. Now, can the offense do what they wanted to do at the half, which is find those weaknesses and now attack them and score some points. And break this tie. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by the 13-time Pro Bowler, Ray Lewis. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. So a dangerous pass over the middle into zone coverage, and it bit him hard. And what's really difficult when you throw it in that direction and versus that zone, that means the linebackers have gotten to their spot, gotten their heads back around, and they can see the quarterback and everything in front of them. And they took big advantage of it, went the other direction, excellent blocking, and picked up a touchdown. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, they'll start this drive at about the 37-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators are probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. Throwing Young. He's going to look deep end zone for Hopkins. And it's knocked away and incomplete. The Pro Bowler, DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Young throwing again. He finds Hopkins complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Play action now. Here's Steve Young. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Throwing again. Young gets it to Gordon. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. They face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. Again, it's Young. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. There we go. He's a gain of six that time, and it moves to chains as well. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Throwing on second and three. Young. Blitz coming and down he goes. It's the Hall of Famer Ray Lewis powering in for the sack. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Young working out of the gun. This is caught, Gronkowski. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Rob Gronkowski, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Extra point good by Gronkowski. And we are all tied at 28. So right back to square one, tied at 28 as he kicks it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And not a bad return.
return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still on attack. We'll see how they attack him here. And all this Texans defense, they're all charged up now. They stop him behind the line for the second straight play. Third down, Mariota. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. It's the former Seahawk, Richard Sherman. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they're throwing an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Now a play fake here on first down. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Young will set to throw. Going for it all. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Gronkowski again. He was the intended target, and it'll bring up third down. Out of the gun. It's Young. This is caught. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. The fourth touchdown pass of the game for Steve Young as his guys are able to regain the lead. Goskowski with the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. Oh, a heck of a move. Oh, and a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. They begin the drive with Coleman. Nowhere to go that time. Might have gotten a yard up to the 25. Now, this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Three quarters in the books. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. On second and nine, Mariota. As we've got the final quarter upon us, we get ready to start the fourth. 15 yards on the play, first down. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Coleman. That's a gain of four as we slip inside of four minutes left in regulation. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Coleman. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. J.J. Watt, the one that gets him down. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Mariota now, flushed out right. He may try and run for this. Mariota had an 87-yard run as a rookie. This one a bit less, but it is a first down. Late in the game, defense trying to avoid a big play. He's able to work out of the passing game, turn it into a run, pick up the first, and stop the clock as well. And you know in this situation, everything is sped up. The intensity, the thinking, everyone's movements. But for a quarterback, he has to continue to be what we call a flatliner. Level in everything he does and read the clock, feel it in the pocket, and go at the appropriate time. Looking to throw again on second down. Mariota, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. J.J. Watt in there to get him. It's a loss of five. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Play fake. Mariota escaping the pressure right. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. 
What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No, no pick, just Check incomplete that three, time. Three, three, three. Now Mariota on fourth down. And that is incomplete. The fourth down pass play doesn't work out. And this Texans defense stands tall. So the failure to convert no doubt really hurts, but this one's not over. A good chunk of time on the clock and the timeouts. Yeah, not only do they have the timeouts, as you just noted, they're going to get an extra one with the two-minute warning, and that's going to help them big way. So in a sense, they have four timeouts in their pocket. The big thing, stopping them on defense now. They can't let them get a first down and make them use their timeouts and get a fresh set of downs. They've got to stop them right here. And if so, they've still got an opportunity. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw down field incomplete. The throw once more on second and 10. Young going underneath for Gordon. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. A gain of 13, it's a first down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Young looks to throw on first down. It's complete to Robinson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That's good for a Texan first down, a 12-yard pickup. Now Gordon on first down. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Young here to throw. And his pass incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It was way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. On third down, this is Melvin Gordon. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. Fourth down now after a loss of two. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. So barring something extraordinary here in the closing stages, that field goal should just about put this one on ice. Yeah, I mean, we've got to find two scores. So, you know, we're not going to exactly move it over there yet. It can be done, but boy, it's going to be a little bit of a stretch for them, isn't it? Yeah, they would have to move incredibly quick and have some luck, too. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two-score game. Onside kick and get the ball. And now off to the races, down the right side. And touchdown, Tevin Coleman. 75 yards as they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. Extra point try good by Gano. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. Here's Steve Young. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Running right, it's a handoff to Gordon. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. Now defensively here, we're going to get a timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Big play coming up. Here's third and 10. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. That's complete. It's Gordon. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A fresh set of downs on a gain of 13 there for the Texans. On first down, Gordon. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. They keep 
keep it on the ground again Gordon and this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line and now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game Young and look at this they get the turnover they needed it's intercepted Picked off by the 13-time Pro Bowler, Ray Lewis. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Charles, I'm looking at you, and understandably, your mouth is wide open in disbelief. What were they thinking? That's going to be one of the great mysteries, but I do know this. When they went out on offense, I will get... Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And this fake extra point attempt failed big time. Not only did they not get it, they went backwards. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. So you're right there, but obviously the clock is not your friend. How do you handle this situation? You're thinking two plays. One to get yourself in position for the second one, whether you're able to get into field goal range or you have to try another deep pass, another Hail Mary. But you're trying to get the first one to a receiver, get out of bounds, and give yourself a chance to set things up for an easier shot at it. We'll see if they can do it. Might be easier said than done. He'll look to throw. He's got a man complete. And now they get the timeout call. So they got one of the big plays that they needed. Can they do it again? Don't change that dial. One last shot for Young. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Terrell Suggs. And that's how this one ends in dramatic fashion in overtime with the interception.